Certainly a lot of talented uh, kids on the field out of that recruiting class. And, and I think as we you know, enter the first weekend, we'll see you know, several of those young guys uh, take the field for us. Uh, and some of them, you know, in, in starting roles, uh, I think, uh, you know, position player wise, or, uh, there's a chance that maybe uh, two or three or maybe even possibly four freshmen uh, starting in the, in the starting lineup over the first, uh, first weekend. Uh, but it's also a great mix, and one of the things uh, I think we talk a lot about the recruits because it's new, but I think when you look around at, at the, the veterans that are back, uh, guys like uh, Chris Ellis and uh, Aaron Greenwood and Sam Smith, guys that have pitched in the Southeastern Conference, guys that have had a lot of success. Uh, you look around at position players, uh, Austin Anderson, uh, Preston Overby, Sykes Orvis, Will Allen, uh, Austin Bosfield, Will Jamison. Uh, a lot of position players that, that have had a lot of success in our league as well. So I think really, uh, when I look at it, it's uh, as, as good a mix or good a group of newcomers and, and uh, veteran guys than, we, than we've had in a long time. Um, we're coming off uh, a great fall and early spring uh, practices and inter-squad games. Um, uh, very competitive, as you know, I mentioned uh, about the depth. <coughs> Uh, one of the things that we, we talked about uh, this past summer after last year and going into the fall, uh, and I think it's kind of the, the, I don't know if mantra or, or kind of a catch word that we've talked a lot, is toughness. Uh, you know, we've been so close uh, to being a great team the last couple of years, but because of a pitch here or a play there and, and literally coming down to a, a game here or there, uh, it hasn't happened for us for one reason or another. And uh, the difference, I think, then for the great teams is they make that one play, they make that pitch, uh, they win that game that matters, uh, that puts you uh, hosting a regional rather than playing on the road or puts you uh, in up, uh, the upper echelon of your, of your conference in the Southeastern Conference where it's so competitive. Uh, one game uh, out of 30 you know, means, means a lot and uh, means a big deal. Uh, where you are in the standings and where you are as far as RPI and whatnot. So how do we how do we win that game? How do we make sure that we're on the right side of the scoreboard? And uh, you know, one of the things we talk about a lot is you know being tougher, you know, being mentally tougher, being able to handle the adversity. Uh, not to talk too much about last year's team, but you know, last year's team got off to just a, an unbelievable start at 21 and three, uh, and then some things didn't go that our way and. Lost a couple close series, and next thing you know, it was hard for us to get back on track again. Uh, we had some good games, but it was hard for us really to gain that confidence back and uh, be the team that we once were. And, uh, and so we talked a lot about that as a staff. And so how do we get that toughness? How, do we, how are we able to handle the adversity uh, that, that is given to you every day? And everybody gets it in this game of baseball. How, how are you able to handle it? And one of the things we talked about is just being physically tough. Uh, you know, if, you, if you're more physically tough, then you know, mentally you're going to be able to handle some more things. And so uh, kind of went back to old school, kind of went back to some of the things we did uh, 13 years ago when I got here, and just to push and challenge the kids. Of course, the competition at each posi position, the depth you know, helped a lot with that. A new strength coach in Ben Fleming uh, pushed them harder than they've ever been pushed in the weight room and conditioning. And just little competitions throughout practice and after weights that I think uh, the message was sent very early on that uh, we want tough-minded kids. We want kids that are able to handle the adversity. And uh, uh, I'm very proud of you know, what the kids went through this fall. And, uh, and we see it. We see it every day on the field in their energy, uh, the way they handle bad things in the inter-squad games. And so um, I, I believe it was a good thing and, and mission accomplished. And as we start this season, uh, here, I look back at the last three weeks uh, in January. Uh, you know, the falls sometimes I think it can be misleading of guys having good falls or bad falls. Uh, <laughs> but as you get closer, certainly you look at the last three weeks, and I can't remember uh, three weeks where it's been as competitive to where it's hard to judge, you know, uh, who really won the inter squad game, the pitchers or, or the hitters. Uh, 